We refer to the levels of measurement, and the first level is a nominal level of measurement. Nominal meaning name, but this is a name to which a particular order cannot be ascribed. For example, the colors of the crayons in a child's crayon box. Survey responses, yes, no, or undecided. Gender, male or female. These are names, but the names do not infer any order. Ordinal levels of measurement involve names, and those names do infer some order. For example, sizes of shirt, small, medium, large, extra large, are names, and there is an order inferred in those names. The example given here, course grades, are really names, and of course, an A is better than an F. The interval level of measurement is a level used for numerical data, quantitative data. In interval levels of management, there is no natural zero, no starting point that is natural. If you consider the years, for example, these are the years that are AD, there are also years that are BC, and there are other calendars that are a completely different starting point than the years that you see here. In an interval level of measurement, only differences make any sense. In the ratio level of measurement, there is a natural zero, and the idea of a ratio of two such numbers has some meaning, as well as the difference. For example, if you consider how tall you are, you measure your height from a natural zero, which is at the ground. It is perfectly possible that you are twice as tall as your sister or brother. When you go to work, you can make twice as much as somebody else. Your salaries start at zero. It's possible to work for nothing. And here we see an example with the prices of college textbooks. For example, the textbook for this course, which is an open education resource textbook, costs nothing. A book that costs $50 is half the price of a book that costs $100. So those are the four levels of measurement. Nominal for categorical data, only names. Ordinal, also for categorical data, but there is an order. Interval, for quantitative data, numbers, but there's no starting point, and the only thing that makes sense is the differences. And ratio, numbers that do have a starting point, a zero, and differences as well as ratios have some meaning.